so I have my blog, but mm -hmm. you know, I'm starting to develop my own personal branding and I want to incorporate that into my blog, but you know, on a budget and by, by myself. Yeah, because we're balling on a budget. Of course. So I'm going to show you how to actually make different blog elements using Canva here on the journey. So when building your brand and building, whether it's for personal or for business and designing these elements, it's important to be consistent with it. Because if you start throwing out one design and then a week later you have another design, people don't know really who you are or right. what to follow. So it's important to keep that on track. Yeah. So let me go ahead and show you a quick demo of how to actually make those blog elements using Canva absolutely free. Sounds good. Cool. All right, so you told me you want to really like elevate your brand and start creating your own branded content. So we're going to use Canva for that. I love Canva just because of its ease of use. Anyone can go on and edit it. I mean, I, I know Photoshop and all these advanced things, but Canva just makes it that much easier and faster to actually create this content. So what we're actually going to create today is basically your featured images. We're going to make them a little bit more branded, a little bit more elevated, make them stand out a little bit. We might have little extra bonuses at the end too. Perfect. But I see these burgers, like Whataburger Review, the In-N-Out Review, Hop Dottie, all these different things. We're gonna go ahead and Canva and check this out. You can get there just by going to canva.com, but right in the top there where it says design anything, we're just gonna type blog and see what pops up. Uh, we have blog banner and blog graphic. So I'm probably going to use just the blog banner so it's, it's not as big, or these this image right here, they're not that big, we want them kind of small and choose blog banner. And what's cool about this, especially if you don't have that design eye, is it gives you tons of templates to start from. So earlier you, you were telling me some of your colors are those green colors, right? Right. So you can see here, there's not a lot of green and that's okay. You're gonna be able to edit all of this content. So I'm gonna let you kind of go ahead and tell me which style you wanna use. Let's choose the art exhibit one. All right, so you chose the art exhibit template. I like it. We're gonna go ahead and, and edit it and make it kind of your own, right? So we obviously don't want the art exhibit. Let's check out, let's do one of your most recent reviews, which is a what a burger review. And then all about their burgers and fries. Little, little, little bit there. Yeah. So what's cool about this is this font might not be your font. In the upper left, you can actually go ahead and change that and it's linked up with Google Fonts. So anything on Google Fonts, which is usually what most websites use, what your brand uses, you can add here. So let's scroll through and find your brand. So I know you liked Poppins, so we're gonna go ahead and use Poppins right here. So Poppins Bold. So we got that Whataburger review. And maybe we don't want this, whatever this background is, it's kind of blurry. Uh, let's go ahead and add in a burger. So we're just going to pick a burger because I don't want to go to your website. I'm a little lazy. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just search photos and just type burgers. I want to keep it free and then search. So all these burgers are absolutely free. I can go ahead and add it on here just like that. And voila, we got a what a burger review all about their burgers. All right, so that's just the basics of Canva, using the templates, adding the background image, adding some text, changing the font. Are there any other elements you really wanna to add to this image? I'm not really sure what, what kind of options am I looking at. All right, so let's just check it out. So on the left-hand side, we've got different options and we're gonna to go to elements. Elements are just different images and gradients and all these different things inside of Canva that you can use. So. So I wanna talk about grids for a second. Grids are basically, let me just throw that on there. It looks like a little cloud and some grass and stuff, right? But this is really for if you wanna add an image here without having to style it yourself. It's really great for templates. So if I had that post there and then I wanted to add my another picture of a burger right here, it throws it in just, just oh. like that. So then if I have another image, I could just put it right on top and then the template changes with that image. Super helpful when you're making your blog post. You don't have to always go in and edit it and style it, move it around. Those little things help out tremendously. So let's move on. We've got different shapes. You can add different shapes on your website, style it however you want, move it around. There's like, but you go ahead and change the colors right at the top left. You said your colors were green, so we're gonna make that green, green again. 
Maybe we want this kind of, I don't know, just randomly up here. Why not? We're just going with it. And then if you don't want it there, like I don't, you can just hit delete and it's gone. So there's all sorts of different icons and different elements you can have. If I search burger, for example, I can probably find a lot of different burgers. Remember, you want to click on that free icon. We're trying to do this full free. Absolutely. I really like this little guy right here. All right. That doesn't really work, so you can't see the, the content. Cool. Perfect. Maybe that works. Um, but yeah, there's lots of different things you can do. You just search in the top left under elements. If you want to add your text, you can do so there. If you want to add a different background, you can go through all your uploads. I'm not going to go through the uploads because you'll see all my randomness. And then you can categorize your stuff by folders and things like that. So then when you're done, you would just choose download. So let's download this bad guy. And then go over to your website, go to your Whataburger review. Let's edit that post. Let's change this image, upload hours. So once it's uploaded, remember that alt text is super important. Whataburger review. Juicy burger post for the caption and then select and update. So now we can go back to our website. Looks we have so that much better. Whataburger review. So they can see that super quick and easy. Not everyone likes to read. They just like to look at the images. They'll see that image and they'll also see the Whataburger review. So now what's super cool when it comes to Canva, if you end up upgrading to their premium license is the ability to resize your, your content you've already created. So if you say you wanted the same type of template on social media, because branding is super important, right. it's super important to be consistent. You can easily resize this to say an Instagram post. Click resize to the top, search Instagram, Instagram post, copy and resize. And then it threw it together in an Instagram post. You might need to update some of the different elements if needed, but it makes it super simple to really have your brand everywhere. Right. So that was awesome. What else can I do in Canva for my blog? Yeah, so what a lot of people will do in Canva, especially on a blog, is create their own custom ads. Um, so those little things that'll end up on the widget sidebar. So let's go back to Canva's home, and then we're just gonna search ads, see what pops up. So we have a Facebook ad that's a little too wide, a leaderboard ad, large rectangle, and a medium rectangle. We should probably just do a medium rectangle, keep it simple. And then we have all this different content. We kind of want to keep it consistent to the look and feel that we had with this. So let's actually just do this from scratch. So I'm going to go to elements. I'm going to throw in this grid, keep it easy on us, right? And then you want, you had your recipe book, right? Mm -hmm. What was the recipe book about? Taco Tuesday recipes. All right. So this, this whole ad is going to be about your taco Tuesday recipe book. So I want to search for a taco image. Which one looks good to you? All of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. Let's do the one with the limes. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Now I want to make this a little darker just so the, the white will contrast on it. You do so with the adjust at the top. Now I want to add some text in. Taco Tuesday recipes. Now it's obviously way too big, not the font we want and not in the colors. So we wanted poppins because it's popping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real corny guys. All right. we also want to change the color. Oh, I didn't change all of it. All right. Go back to poppins, 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 poppins. There we go. All right. And then we want to change the color, make that white. We want to change the size. because That's way too big. That looks good. And now with this, I don't really want that extra space there. It's kind of too much. You can go over to spacing and then go to line height and then shrink or expand this as needed. All right, so we got Taco Tuesday recipes. Let's check on the other posts so we make this consistent. All right, we got these little white lines here. So let's make sure we have that. It's gonna be over in elements and then shapes, I hope. Nope, I hope nope. Oh, then we go over to elements, go down to lines. That makes more sense. 
And then let's make that white, turn it around. Got to shrink it a little bit. And then the, the regular commands like Control C, Control V, things like that work here. Uh, you hit uh, Control D if you're on a Windows computer or Command D, it'll duplicate it nice and easy for you. And what's cool about Canva is it kind of will make a little bit of a grid. So you can see it shows that it's even with the other one. So you can throw that in there. And now we have our Taco Tuesday recipes. Now, if there's, there's anything else you want to add, you can always just kind of search and see what other things pop up. Maybe I want to add some random little tacos in the top left or on top. Cool. And now once we have this, we're going to want to download that. Then go over to your website. Now we're going to throw it under the widgets area. So we want to go over to your WordPress dashboard, appearance, and then widgets. And then we want to actually add a, an image here. So there's an image on the left-hand column. Just drag that right over. I'm going to put that above. Actually, let's put it below the recent posts. We don't really want a title. And we just want to upload that Taco Tuesday recipe image. Now, what's important with some of these images that you throw on your website, in the bottom right, it'll usually try to make it just the medium size. Now, our medium size is the full size, but for those of you watching, if you have an image you're uploading, make sure you put it on full size. Otherwise, it's gonna make it a lot smaller than it actually is. Let's go add to widget, save. If you wanted to link to your landing page that we created earlier, you can go ahead and do so there. And then let's check it out. Got to go to your website and then let's check your Whataburger review. And then bam, we got your Taco Tuesday recipes. So Looks if someone good. were to click that, they'd go to your landing page, see all about your recipe book, and then you've got it. So Canva will let you really create almost anything you're wanting to. What I would recommend is just going through all of the designs. It has it right here. It's like Canva print, posters, logos, desktop wallpaper, blog banners, Instagram stories, literally everything. But what I would highly, highly, highly recommend is always keep your brand consistent. Now there's lots of templates to use and it sounds really cool to just go and start making all sorts of different stuff. It's gonna confuse your audience mm -hmm. if you start doing that. Perfect, well I think I've got it all. I'm gonna go home, play with Canva, see what I can create. Let us know in the comments below if you've used Canva before. Yeah, and I really hope this inspired you to really elevate your brand using Canva or whatever else you wanna create it with. If you got some value out of this video, make sure you smash that like button, let us know. While you're there, subscribe to our channel so you get this content first. This is The Journey. We'll see you next time.